SmoothWall Access. SmoothWall Access is located in the user interface in Network Firewall SmoothWall Access. This section of the firewall is where you manage rules that control access to the services running on the SmoothWall device itself. To give clarity, they are separate from the main firewall rules section that handle outgoing traffic through the SmoothWall. The rules in SmoothWall Access are organized into sections. There's a Default Access Rules section and a Catch-All section, which contain the default rules that are present on a fresh installation. If you have upgraded from a previous version of the SmoothWall system, you will also see sections containing any migrated rules. Rules in SmoothWall Access are applied from top to bottom, meaning the logic of the top rule supersedes the next one down and so on. The catch-all rule is set to reject all traffic. As it is placed at the bottom of all the rules, it ensures that anything not allowed in a rule above will be rejected. Note that this default only applies to services which are managed within SmoothWall Access. It does not apply to general internet traffic which is managed elsewhere. The full list of services that are managed by the SmoothWall Access page can be found in the SmoothWall Help. This can be accessed by clicking on the Help button at the top of the page. We will demonstrate adding a new rule to allow access to SmoothWall's DNS proxy service, which runs on the standard DNS port. A new rule can be added to a current section, or you can create a new section with a logical title to help you organize your rules. Click on the Add Section button and add a logical name. When you click Save Changes, the section will be available for you to use. When you hover over the new section, you are able to choose to add a rule, add another section, rename the section, or delete it. Choose Add Rule. You can choose to add the rule to the top or the bottom of the section if you have existing rules in that section. The new rule pop-up brings all the configurations for creating a SmoothWall access rule into one place. First, enter a logical name for your new rule in the name field. The source IP address is the address the traffic will be coming from on your network, such as the system administrator's PC. In an access rule, leaving a field blank means that the rule parameter will apply to any or all addresses in this case. If you want a rule to apply to a specific address or address object, you can select it and include it in the rule. It is possible to create your own address object here. Creating an address object simplifies management of a group or range of IP addresses. See our video, Firewall Address and Service Objects. Inbound Interfaces allows you to select the interface you want to allow access to. Here, we will open it up to an internal port we have configured. Click Add to include it in the new rule. You may select the destination interface. In this case, we will also use internal port 1. SmoothWall Access rules allow you to manage set services, which are listed for selection here. Click Add to include it in your new rule. In our example, we have chosen to create a rule for DNS proxy, so we will select that service. Within groups, you can choose the group or groups you want the rule to apply to if you are using an authentication method. Instead of specifying a source address above, you could choose to limit the rule to a group here, such as system administrators. It's worth noting, if there is a problem with the authentication service, this could prevent you from accessing elements of SmoothWall, or locking yourself out, so it would be advisable to set a backup rule from one of the addresses you can always access. We will leave this blank and so the system defaults to any group. The rule will apply to all groups and users. There are three actions available for firewall rules. Accept, reject, and drop. For further information on these rules, see our video, Changing the Outgoing Rule in the SmoothWall Firewall, for an explanation of these actions. Ticking the log box includes the rule in the firewall logs. This helps you with fault finding if you have a problem with your newly created rule. Click Save, and the rule will be added to the relevant section and start to apply.
Smooth wall access rules apply from top to bottom, and so the logic of the top rule supersedes the one below it. Rules allowing access to specific individuals or services should therefore be placed above the catch-all rules. It's possible to drag and drop a rule by holding down the mouse button. Press Save when they are in the order you desire.